What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am actually on my way to, is this technically like an 18 week appointment? Mm -hmm. Right lane to continue straight on River's Edge Drive. Waze is gonna be yelling at me this whole time, but this is a check-in with my doctor. So I have another appointment next week, which is like the big, I guess like 18 and a half, 19 week ultrasound, but today's just a check-in. I think I'm gonna ask to hear the heartbeat because I didn't hear it last time. But yeah, we're just on our way. I can't believe I'm gonna be 18 weeks tomorrow. That's crazy, but I'm getting excited and yeah, let's go. Okay, so I couldn't vlog while I was in there because I was FaceTiming Ethan the whole time, so obviously couldn't do both, but everything's good. We got to see the face. Ethan sort of got to see it. You got to see it. Yeah. I keep saying he, but the baby was looking right at the camera, the Doppler. He said my placenta is still low, but he's not concerned about it. So that made me happy. And like I said, I'm going back next week for like the big ultrasound of, you know, looking at every little thing. So I feel really good today. He made me feel like everything is perfect. Going great. What else did he tell us? I'm trying to think. Heard the heartbeat. Heard the heartbeat. Last time at our last appointment, we could he couldn't find it because the placenta was in the way. He heard it and it was really strong. So that was great. And the baby was like moving his arms up over his head. Yeah. It was really cute and it was crazy. You could like see his face really clearly. I keep saying him. I don't know. Like it was like the outline of eyes, nose, mouth. It was very cool. So yeah, overall success. I'm happy. Are you happy? Very. It's always a little uh, anxiety. There's always a little anxiety yeah. going to these because you've never done it before, but right. it's, it's really fun. It was normal and it was a relieving appointment. I totally agree. Okay, so the lighting is not great in here, but since I'm doing that Dyson Airwrap giveaway this week and I posted a reels on how I blow out my hair with this guy. Figured I would do just like a little mini tutorial in this vlog. So before I start with that, I've already done, like my hair is obviously pretty dry at this point, almost fully dry. And I've already done this side of my head, like sort of, I'm not done with it. But what I did in the shower and what I've been doing in the shower, I've been switching off between these two. So I've been using these Pacifica Sunshine Heights Toning Shampoo and Conditioner. These are so good to make my blondes like much brighter. Like, do you guys see how they don't look as warm as they've looked in the past? Like the blondes are much cooler tones, but I still have some warmth throughout here, which I like. I like like a mix of cool and warm tones. Sorry, I get so winded now that I'm pregnant. Like I can't even talk without <laughs> not being able to breathe. So. I've been switching off between that and then these Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner are amazing. They are just like so good for helping color treated hair be smoother, softer, healthier, everything. This is a new line that they just came out with so I've been using these two and then the leave-in conditioner which I think is a huge reason my hair looks like super shiny and nice. And then the last, sorry, I know this is a lot. When I get out of the shower, I use this Authentic Beauty Concept Blow Dry Primer. I really love this brand for hair stuff. And then I finish with the Glow Touch Spray from them. So hopefully you got all that. I'll link everything below for you guys, but that's what I've been using for my hair lately and I feel like it's really been working for me. So let me show you how I use the Air App. So the Air App is basically, it's just this, it's this right here. All these attachments pop off. You just like pull this little lever and they snap right off and in. So when I start, I always start with this attachment, which is basically just a regular blow dryer. And I'll normally dry my hair like, I don't know, 60% so that it's pretty dry. And then I will use, this is why I love this thing so much because it has all of these attachments. Then I will use this attachment, which is, which is basically just a round brush. You could blow out your entire head with this attachment. The way I like to use this is I'll show you. I kind of wrap my short pieces forward and back and I do a lot at the crown and then some on the ends just to like give it a little bit of body up here before I go in with the curl attachment. So I will show you how I do this really quick and then I'll pop on the curl attachment and show you how I curl and hopefully that helps you. Okay.
Okay, so I had already done a little bit of that, but you can see with that attachment, I really just hit the roots to give my hair body because my hair always falls really flat. It also helps with these front pieces, just giving them a little bit of like a bend. And then I take the smaller attachment because my hair is a little bit shorter. I think for really long hair, the bigger attachment would be better. You can see the difference in size. This one's just a little bit thicker. So it depends what kind of look you're going for too. If you're going for like a more relaxed wave blowout, if, even if your hair is my length, you could use the bigger one. I just feel like the smaller curls work better because then they fall the way I want them to. So let me show you how I use this. I always have to fix my part because as you could see, I kind of went crazy. Okay. And then you can see like my front pieces are already kind of doing that curtain bang effect, at least on the left side they are. We'll figure out the right side. So you switch these attachments out so there's too small and too big and they have little arrows on them so you can see which way the air will blow so i believe this one is for my left side because you'll see we want the curls to go away from the face so it should grab the hair and curl it away from the face yeah. so you can see you just flip it on and off and it grabs the hair for you i like to leave it on for this style, so I'll just speed this part up and show you guys how I do the rest of my head. Okay, the last thing I like to do is pop the hair dryer attachment back on and then I put this on cool and I hit my whole head just to cool down the curls so hopefully they'll set. Okay, you're gonna look crazy. Okay, so now my hair is cool, cooled down. I'm just gonna brush out the curls very gently. So. I'm gonna let these sit for a little bit. I'll come back and show you guys like final, final what it looks like. But this is pretty much where I'm at, like at the end of the blowout. I will always put this um, Glow Touch Finishing Spray on. It gives it a little bit of hold and it makes my hair so shiny. It smells so good. Okay, so I'm about to go film a video. It's a, my makeup routine video, my current makeup routine. So, I feel like at that point, once I'm done that video, my curls will have fallen the way I want them to, and I'll show you guys kind of how that goes. But this is the gist. I know it's not amazing yet, but trust me, in like 20 minutes, it's gonna be very happy, happy hair. Okay, so I just finished filming. Obviously I have makeup on so things look better anyway, but I wanna show you the curls because I just, like they fell so nicely, and I brushed out this side. So you can see how like, soft and like shiny they look, can you? I haven't brushed this side out, so I wanna just show you guys me brushing this side out and how nice these look like once I brush them. See how shiny and like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just such shiny hair. I never had shiny hair before. And I feel like that glow spray and the air wrap really work wonders. So you, you get the gist. And here's my makeup look, I just filmed it. It's that faux freckle, it's almost like a no makeup makeup look, but I mean, I'm obviously wearing makeup. I love this, I've been doing this routine nonstop, so I was like, I need to film this for you guys. So, all right, I'm gonna go shoot some photos. I have a campaign I have to get done. I gotta get moving. Okay, so I went and shot some content. I need to do this campaign still, and I need to see if I got any good photos. I'm hoping I did, but that's my plan for the rest of the day, and I need, I am going to do a workout today for the first time in like, I wanna say two and a half, three weeks. Most of you guys know this, but my doctor told me to take a break, lay low, don't do any exercise, but I had an appointment last week and he told me I'm good to start exercising if I want to. So I am working with, it's my best friend's sister. She's a personal trainer. She's incredible. She's put together a whole plan for me, safe prenatal workouts. So I will put her handle right here. She's incredible, check her out. She does all type of fitness. She just got certified for prenatal. So I'm so excited because I get to utilize her too. But her programs are amazing. She looks incredible. She's learned so much over the years. I'm just so proud of her and I'm so excited to be working with her. So I'm gonna do that workout. 
later today and I'm honestly really nervous because I feel like my legs are gonna be gel. It's a full lower body workout. And like I said, I have not worked out so like in a long time. So I'm, I'm a little worried, but I'm excited to get back into it. All right guys, we're at the doctor's parking, in the doctor's parking lot right now. Sorry, it's early. We are here for the 20 week anatomy scan. 18? Well, it's technically called the 20 week anatomy scan, I guess. I'll be 19 weeks on Thursday, so I guess they do it between 18 and 20 weeks. That's what they call it. What do you know? I so <laughs> I don't either. So I'm gonna, I'll be on my phone with Ethan. I brought my little tripod. I'm gonna set it up right in front of the monitor so he can see everything because they do, oh, why did he tell us? They, they look at like everything. So even as in depth as like the heart chambers, everything, fingers, toes, everything. So I really want him to be able to see the monitor as well as possible. So I'm gonna set my phone up right in front of the monitor and then I'm bringing my camera in to vlog it. So. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited to get going. Are you ready? Ready. Okay guys, so I'm sorry I'm crying. Everything's fine. <laughs> I'm just emotional, hormonal. Ethan's in Duncan right now, getting me a bagel. But everything went well, other than the fact that my placenta is still really low. So she was just kind of like no heavy lifting, but the doctor is gonna call you and kind of tell you the deal. So we scheduled another ultrasound for 10 weeks from now, April and hopefully it's moved up. I'm mostly just like annoyed at this point because I'm like, can you just not be annoying placenta? But look at all these pictures we got. What's up guys? So I basically stopped vlogging yesterday because I was just physically, emotionally, mentally drained and I just decided to like kind of take the day did a little bit of work, but mostly just vegged on the couch. I was exhausted after my appointment. I don't know, I felt like it took everything out of me. So I have been kind of catching up today on stuff that I was supposed to do yesterday, editing a new video of basically this makeup look that will be up on my channel already by the time you're watching this video. So check that out if you wanna see how I have been doing my makeup lately. And we're about to head to the grocery store because we need food. So we're gonna go do that. So this vlog is all over the place, but today I am going to try working out again. I'm gonna update you guys on, I just got a call from my doctor who looked at the report from the ultrasound and I just wanna like catch you up on all of that. So after I'm done my workout, I'm gonna shower and get ready, vlog a little bit and tell you a little bit about that and then I'm gonna film a reel, but or reels, whatever. But so since I just talked to him, I'm gonna do a little bit of workout. I've been working out. I think I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, but yes, I definitely did. And I did the first workout on Monday and it didn't feel like it was gonna be that hard. Like it was all lower body. So I was like, I know my legs are gonna be rough. I was like, I can do squats with like five pound weights. I can do, I mean, lunges, like just things that I always used to do. Oh my God, you guys, I was dying. Like I had to sit down, I was gagging. <laughs> it was honestly so embarrassing. Like I just realized since I haven't worked out in so long, I haven't done weights in so long. It was, uh, my body was like, what, what the, what the hell is this? So I'm gonna do a little bit more stretching today because the last two days, two, three days, I have not been able to walk. I have been wobbling around. We went to the grocery store, I was wobbling. Like. Every morning I get out of bed, I'm like, oh my God, it's crazy. So today is upper body and stretching. So I'm just gonna start with a little stretch, see how I feel, and then do upper body with like really light weights, like three to five pounds. So that's my plan. Then I'm gonna get in the shower and we'll catch up in a little bit. So I just did a TikTok, that's why my makeup's like this. And I was gonna film a little, that little catch up with you guys right here, but I look like I'm in jail. Let me take care of this situation, cause this is what it looks like when uh, TikToks happen. Let me get this together and I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. So basically you saw after my appointment, I was visibly upset. I was just more like stressed because I didn't really know what, almost like I didn't really know like how to feel. Like they told me when I left, they were like, we don't want to like to alarm you. We don't want you to be freaked out by this, but like basically something needs to change. You know, it basically my placenta just needs to move. And in the meantime, since I have to like, you know, no heavy lifting and like taking it easy, like since I have to do stuff about it, I feel like there's something wrong. I don't know if that's making sense, but it was just over a little overwhelming and I was really 
we were both really hoping to leave that appointment feeling like excited and really like relieved and all of that. And I just felt like we were left with a little bit of anxiety, but it passed. Like I said, my doctor called me today and he was like, honestly, I don't want you worrying about things that aren't like yet a problem. Like you have enough on your mind, you have enough to deal with. You don't need to worry about stuff that hasn't happened yet is basically what he said to me. And I was just like, okay, that makes me feel better. Cause I was like, what happens if it doesn't move? And he was like, well, that means C-section. And he's like, but let's not worry about things that haven't happened yet. So he said 99% of the time it moves up. And yes, obviously I could be the 1%, but hopefully that won't be the case. So he just said, as my uterus expands, yeah, that makes sense. And the baby grows the placenta will move up with it, which is what he's been telling me since the beginning. I was just hoping that it would have moved up a little bit by now and it hasn't, but that's okay. So I have another ultrasound in a couple months and hopefully by then it will be moved up. He said it's near the cervix, but not covering the cervix. So I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling fine. I last night, I like kind of felt the baby. I think I like turned onto my stomach in my sleep and the baby was like, please no, get off me. I want nothing to do with you right now. <laughs> and I don't know, I just felt like he was moving all around, it was crazy. But it was also like the middle of the night and I feel like I could have been dreaming. Like nothing's happened yet where I'm like, oh my God, you know? Like I'm waiting for that moment where I'm like, I felt something. And I think because of where the placenta is, it's, it's too low and it's in the front, they were like, it may take you to be like 22 weeks before, or between 20 and 22 weeks before you really feel anything. So I'm just gonna try and be patient feel very blessed and lucky that everything else is totally fine. He said the developmental and the measurements and like all that stuff that they did at that appointment, everything looked good. So, but overall that was kind of my week. I just kind of like pushed through and tried to like live as normally as I possibly could. And I was pumped to hear from him today and like put my mind at ease a little bit. So yeah, I showed you the sonogram pictures, but I want to grab them. Hold on. Okay. So we got a million, <laughs> there's two stacks of them. <laughs> but like, oh my God, so cute. They're all, she just like, as she was going through, she was just snapping pics. So let's see, this is a little foot. Can you see the little footprint? And then this is the whole body, but you can see like the feet are up near the head. And that was kind of like how they were the whole appointment just like curled up into a ball, which I just think is so funny. But yeah, this is the thumb sucking one. Can you guys see the hand and the thumb and the face and the body? So wild. So yeah, I'm 19 weeks today. I can't believe I'll be halfway done next week. That's so crazy to me. But yeah, I'm just gonna, it's Valentine's Day weekend. So we don't have any plans, but I do wanna do something. I want to like get dinner or something. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We are getting there. We're halfway there. Can you believe it? So crazy. Yeah, another vlog next week. Oh, I didn't give you a bump date, but I look, I'm in, there's a bump date on my Instagram. I'll give you a 20 week bump date in next week's vlog because I just, it's, there's a lot happening down here. I don't have leggings on. I'm not gonna like stand up and just show you everything. So we'll do that next week. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you then. Mwah.